What is an endometriosis ultrasound? My name is Dr. Matthew Leonardi. I'm a gynecologic ultrasound specialist and endometriosis focused surgeon. I'm the director of SUGO, Specialized Ultrasound in Gynecology and Obstetrics. This is a question I get asked all the time when patients come for their endometriosis ultrasound. How is this scan different from the scans that have happened before? First, it's important to understand that a routine ultrasound done in most community and in some hospital centers only looks at the uterus and the ovaries, in which case, if a patient has ovarian endometriomas, a subtype of endometriosis, that could be diagnosed. But neither of the two other subtypes of endometriosis, deep or superficial endometriosis, can be diagnosed with a routine pelvic ultrasound. An endometriosis-focused ultrasound goes beyond the assessment of the uterus and the ovaries, whereby we directly look for deep and superficial endometriosis in the main areas of the pelvis that are often affected by endometriosis. In the area in front of the uterus that involves the bladder and the ureters and the peritoneum, the lining of the pelvic cavity of the uh, vesicouterine pouch, that's the space between the bladder and the uterus. In the posterior compartment, we assess the recto-uterine pouch, that's the peritoneum of the space between the rectum and the uterus. We assess the rectum, we assess the uterosacral ligaments, the vagina, and we assess the mobility of the structures in that space through a technique called the sliding sign. When we do the sliding sign, we apply pressure in the pelvis with the ultrasound probe. It is an in and out motion of the ultrasound probe to try and elicit movement between the structures within the pelvis, primarily in the area behind the uterus, between the rectum and the uterus itself. We sometimes apply pressure in the anterior compartment to assess whether the bladder and the uterus could be stuck to each other. And we also assess the sliding of the ovaries because the ovaries may be stuck or fixed due to endometriosis. We apply pressure to the ovaries and sometimes we also apply pressure with our hand on the lower abdomen of the pelvis. This can help us determine adhesions due to endometriosis. So our endometriosis-focused ultrasounds contain many more techniques that are not implemented during routine basic ultrasound, and we're looking directly for endometriosis in those spaces with our eyes. When we find it, we report it, when we don't find any endometriosis, we cannot rule out endometriosis.